Welcome fans and collectors! This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review and today we'll be looking at Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Thunderwing. Quick story about the character, he's a Decepticon and a Decepticon leader but what makes him very unique is that he's able to activate the Autobot Matrix of Leadership but the thing is only an Autobot is worthy to activate the Autobot artifact. Which really confused me. But when I read Transformers Regeneration 1, which is a follow-up series to the Marvel comic books, it was explained that the Autobot Matrix was actually tainted by evil. So yeah, I just love that. I, I love comic books, comic books for answering questions. Okay, so here we go. Colors are a cream white or an off-white, blue, purple, green, orange, a translucent orange for the cockpit and the missiles. Really nice Decepticon symbols here and here. He has retractable landing gear here, here, and here. The jet mode on the top is very decent, but at the bottom, you can tell it's robot mode. Normally, I'm very forgiving and lenient when it comes to robot junk underneath, especially when it comes to the Seekers, but this is really bad. You can tell it's a robot torso. This is the chest, these are the arms, and these are the legs. But as a fair reviewer, if there is no other way to engineer it, I would understand. It's bad, but I can forgive it. I really like the guns here and the missile launchers, which I will get more into. Really cool features that there's a deployable recon drone. If I can get it off, it's a little tricky, but there we go. Here's the drone. Here's the nose cone without the drone. So let's put that back in. For accessories, he does come with these missile launchers with a translucent orange missile. They can shoot, but I told you over and over if you've been following my channel for a long time that I don't care for gimmicky toys because one I'm an adult collector and two I'm gonna leave these in because they look like energy bolts and they look really cool on display so I'm get, gonna keep them there normally I would get rid of the missiles but the translucent orange makes it look like a laser blast or an energy bolt so that's really cool. There's a peg hole and there's a peg, so very easy. So that's enough of that. Let's get into robot mode. Here's the robot mode and this looks so much better. Especially with the colors breaking up, like there's gold on his legs, his waist, the nice metallic green on the belt area, here on his chest, the little gem on his head. Much more color in robot mode and definitely better than the vehicle mode. Although I've said this many times, I never display my transformers in alt modes. Only bad thing I have to say is that there's a lot of kibble here, but it looks really cool. I actually like the cockpit as the backpack and the wings because I like jet formers with wings in robot mode. It makes them look very imposing. Take a look at the head sculpt. I love it. I love the mouth, the gold, the nose, the white helmet, the green gem, and there's light piping for the orange eyes. I don't know 
if other Transformers reviewers have pointed this out, but Thunderwing looks very animalistic. I mean, his mouth looks like it has fangs, some of the details look like feathers, his toes look like talons. I'm surprised no other Transformers toy reviewer has pointed this out. Oh well. Accessories. Like I said, comes with these two cool guns. And I'm going to keep the missiles as these laser blast effects. You can have them combined together. If you want. But I prefer to keep them separate as dual pistols. But it's your toy. You can do what you want. Articulation. Ball jointed head. Ball jointed shoulders. Hinge elbow. Swivel wrist. Ball jointed legs. These side skirts are on hinges so it can go in and out. Hinge legs. And these toes can go in and out due to transformation. So my final thoughts on this guy. It's not perfect, like, there's a lot of kibble in robot mode, there's robot junk in vehicle mode, but I still like it. I prefer to see the good over the bad. And I really do like the character, so definitely wor worth the pickup. There's, like, a Titan's Return, Titan Master version of this guy, but I'm glad to have him, since I'm a G1-er, and, well... He's not a Titan Master, Headmaster, whatever. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next. So, until then, till all are one. Cause thunder in your heart. Every move is like lightning.